Last night, there was a power outage in my apartment. There was a really bad storm outside. And the entire city lost power. And when I walked outside, I got cold and wet. It wasn't too bad though. I got to meet my next door neighbor. And I made a new Thunder Buddy. It was kind of fun, walking around in the dark. I was on the phone when the power went out. I was talking to a friend back home. And before the line cut off, he was telling me that he just bought a house. And I'm really happy for him. He made it. So even though the power went out, last night was still a good night. After breakfast, I usually go to the gym near my apartment. But today I'm going to do something new. I'm going to go to the Harvard gym. It's a lot nicer. And it feels good to change things up. I have to take my gym bag out of storage. It's been a while since I used it. I'm going to pack my running shoes. I'm also going to pack some shorts, a workout shirt, and all the rest. And now I get the rest of my stuff to get ready to go to campus. It's a hassle to take a gym bag on the train, but I think it'll be worth it. I just got to campus. This bank that I'm walking by is really famous. It's the Cambridge Savings Bank. And they filmed this movie called The Town Here. It's about some bank robbers from Charlestown, this neighborhood in Boston. And that's the bank that they rob in the opening scene. It's probably my favorite movie. Really, I think it's about a guy who's just really good at the wrong thing. And he just wants to make it out of his neighborhood. And he does. He ends up somewhere in Tangerine, Florida. I like that ending. It's simple. If it was me, I'd want to end up somewhere on the Cape. Maybe Barnstable. I'd want a simple ending like that. This is Hemingway Jim. The last time I was here, I was 30 pounds heavier, and I was trying to lose weight. Now it's three years later, and I came back a little stronger. It's a good feeling. I miss coming here. I'm gonna start coming more often, even if it takes a little more effort to get here. I think it's worth the trip. That was a good workout. Now I'm going to office hours for the course that I teach. I'm hosting them in the study lounge for the physics undergrads. They use this lounge a lot for study groups. Today it's just me. I stay for the whole hour, even when it's empty. I think it's good to keep your word. So if I say I'll be here for an hour, that's what I'll do. I still got some work done, so it was a productive hour. And now I'm off to lunch. Since there was a power outage last night, I couldn't cook food. So today I'm eating in the square. This guy on the left walked up to me afterwards, said he recognized me, and we stayed talking for a bit. He's a nice guy. It was nice to meet him. I came to Felipe's for lunch. It's a Mexican restaurant. I always get the same thing every time I come here. It's called the Super Burrito. It reminds me of home. Last week was Thanksgiving and I went back home to visit family. And I ate a lot of tacos. I kinda miss it. When I go back home, I always play the same song when I drive around my neighborhood. It's called Power Trip by J. Cole. There's this line he says, back home I'm grown now and the city's my throne now. And I sing that line when I drive around and I pass all the taco shops that I grew up with. I didn't grow up in the greatest neighborhood, but it's mine, and I'm proud of it. And that's what taco shops remind me of, coming back home and grown, but still appreciating your neighborhood, your throne. After lunch, I had to go to my advisor's office. This researcher from a quantum computing company came to visit, and she wanted to meet our group. After the meeting, I ran to section, 
and after that I came back to my office to work. It was my last section for the semester, and it was kind of bittersweet. We took a group picture at the end, and I'm going to cherish that photo. At the end of class, one of my students walked up to me to tell me something really nice. He said he appreciated everything that I did for them. Now I know that he didn't have to say that, but he did. And I'm glad he did, because it meant a lot. And I'm going to remember it for a while. I really hope he goes far. I know he has it in him. I learned this semester that I really like teaching students. Not because I like to explain stuff, but just because teaching gives you a chance to get to know somebody. And once I got to know them all, I realized that I really like them. So I'm going to miss seeing them every week. Now I'm going back home. I'm really hungry, so I'm going to stop by CVS to pick up a Twix. It's my favorite chocolate, and it'll hold me down until dinner. I have to catch my train now. It's about 8 o'clock, and I just got home. I still have to get some work done. We submitted a paper to get published over a month ago, and we just heard back from the journal, and they asked us to make some revisions. So tonight, I'm going to work as fast as I can to get the revisions done, because we're meeting tomorrow morning to talk about them. So tonight, I'm going to work till the morning. Now I'll lose a little sleep, but that's alright. It'll be worth it when I make it to my tangerine, Florida.